Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a cheater who actually came clean. Of course, like every other cheater, he had to be caught. Uh, we have never seen a case where someone was not accused of cheating and came out and admitted that they cheated at an event. Now that would be truly unique. Uh, but given that people get caught all the time, there's many ways people can take it. Sometimes they get very defensive, like Alex Pacini. Sometimes they just disappear from magic and play Hearthstone. And many other times, you have situations where, oh, it was a mistake, I was very tired, I didn't know how this card interacted, this is not me, you know me guys, I'm very friendly, I always smile. Yes. One of the reasons that cheating is so rampant in Magic the Gathering, especially at the quote professional end quote level, is due to the way that professionals see the game. They see you as a weenie uh, to be taken advantage of. So a professional Magic player, one of the rationales they use very often is, hey, I need to cheat and win because this person is not going to get very far anyway. This is a mentality that most pros have. They want to win at any cost because their livelihood and their next meal literally depends on whether or not they will come home with the prize. So everyone knows that cheating is wrong in the vast majority of players regardless of where they sling their spells. Do not cheat at magic. We are not a community of cheaters or bad people. Over the past month, I have seen numerous instances where a player on camera makes a mistake that results in an advantage and the community erupts into accusations of cheating and scumbaggery. I don't care to get into specifics. First of all, I understand honest players want to protect the integrity of the game. The problem is the mob mentality that aims to be judge, jury, execu executioner. Now, just like I mentioned in the very beginning of the video, why we have never had a cheater come forward when they were not accused or caught on camera saying, I'm a cheater. Why is every single cheat or every single mistake made by a pro advantageous? Have any of you seen a mistake by a pro that was not caught that was disadvantageous? I would love to see video where a pro makes a mistake. Maybe they draw one less card. You know, like if we assume that people are not cheating and you make mistakes, the mistakes should go both ways. So people should forget their draw step as well as draw an extra card off Brainstorm, Alex Pacini. But it seems like, or for Brainstorm, you know, Brainstorm says draw free cards. So maybe uh, somebody only drew two or, but it seems like a lot of times they draw four and no one ever draws two. Same with Faithless Looting or Cathartic Reunion. It seems like these cards that people are making, quote, mistakes on, there's never a mistake that disadvantages the player making the said mistake. And this is one of the arguments I would make. The pro should know better. Yes, perhaps players you just watched make a bizarre error. The topic is so divisive that it's difficult not to drunk. And if you see people engaging in this particular behavior in order to get hits on social media or attract curious viewers on their stream, be aware of how damaging this behavior is. And please don't engage with it. It isn't good for community. It isn't good for rules. It isn't good for the game. I would argue that the only justice that can be dished out is from social media, from YouTube videos, from people mentioning their name just like magic online trading league if you're a scammer and it's proven your name your address your phone number and whatever other information you gave is now going to be published and exist on this website that everyone's looking at so if anyone ever wants to trade with you they're gonna be like oh wait this is a different name but the same address Ooh, probably don't want to send it there and that's what's happening with cheating the reason cheating is so um protected by the magic pros is these pros are all very very scared they're very scared because making mistakes 
they might be accused of cheating and somehow this is you know bad no the answer is if you steal and that's what you're doing you're stealing money prize money Alex Porcini stole a Black Lotus and a Power 9, a set of Power 9 worth who knows how much money today. You are stealing money from the other players who put the money in. Channel Fireball and Star City Games, they're not charity. They're making a profit on top of the prize money that everyone paid in. So just like a poker game, you're taking money from the other players by cheating. You're stealing. Now, in real life, if you steal stuff, you go to jail. And let me repeat that again. If you stole something from Target, go go to Target right now, attempt to steal something, you will go to jail. Or you'll be reprimanded. Or at the very least, a security guard or somebody who catches you, you're going to wait for your parents to get there. And you'll be grounded, at least, for my younger audience viewers. So... What if you steal in magic? There are no consequences. Bingo. Do, 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 do. Bingo. And that's what Fabiola and Terry are said. I cheated at magic. This is a story of what I did and what was going on in my mind. Mana weaving. Yep, mana weaved. How exactly did you do this? What? I just shuffle the deck when you're presented to me and you wouldn't get any advantage? Yes, this cheat was targeting the less experienced players I would encounter in the early rounds casual players i know now i know reading all the details of this cheat will make people angry but i think it's important everyone understands how mana weaving works this is terrible man what were you thinking i cheated and i knew what i was doing there was no excuse so he was caught i started 2015 2016 on a hot run winning the gp london the first week then making top 16 i was feeling so apparently he didn't cheat then, right? Uh-huh, yeah, right. I am a very competitive person, and there's nothing I enjoy more than having a great match of magic by cheating. <laughs> like, yeah, it's fun for you. It's like, remember Pika Points? I was talking about Tolarian, Weds, and all these scammers, right? It's great when you have unlimited Pika Points, but it's not great when people get caught holding the bag. It's great when you're having a great time playing Magic because you're winning every single round and you know you're going to win because you're cheating to do so. But it sucks for that opponent. I mean, <laughs> just the way that these people view it is just horrible. The, I would never hire any of these people. Like These people cannot have a full-time job outside Magic. Like I, I will be really honest. Like Would you hire this dude? Would any company legitimately hire a dude who's... The, re- the rationale behind cheating is he's cheating casual people and he's getting away v- with it and he feels really good. Y- yeah, you feel great because you're winning. Not because like you need... <laughs> oh man, terrible. How come we didn't hear you from you again in such a long time? The first few months were really hard. Okay, great. I did deal with a part of me that was wrong while everyone else was writing posts and sending messages about how terrible a human being I was. I had to get away from it. If you don't like the punishment, do not do the crime. It was a long process. I had recognized the problem I had to work on getting better, becoming better, by cheating better. Mm -hmm. Cheating better, like Alex Pacini. Learning new magician tricks, of course. I found peace with myself. Like, what the blank are we talking about? We're talking about Magic the Gathering here. What? It's not like he went out, He, you know, he went out, served in the army, came back, and has to find peace, right? This is ridiculous. He's talking about cheating in Magic as if somehow it has, it was your choice to cheat. It always is. No one forced you to cheat. You chose it. Mm, right, let me guess. You now changed and you are sorry. Again, these are questions that he's answering by himself. This is the hard part. I can't change the past and I can't give the opportunities I've stolen. I've inten- I don't intend either to buy my way back in the community through donations or promises. The reason he's saying this, because uh, every cheater does that. I can only learn from what I did and try to be better for the future. Words can't prove I've changed, only time. No, you have not changed, nor will you ever change. 
The experience I went through was quite life-defining for me. I would like to believe there is good to be taken from it. For me, yes, you won money, great. You won some Power 9, fantastic. I don't know if 18 months was a long time. This guy gets it. If you truly, truly are regretful, I want a list of every time you cheated against every single opponent. And then you should apologize. Don't give me some BS where you said that you didn't cheat. Oh, you know, I was winning all GP London. Are you serious? So you won all these great events and supposedly you didn't cheat then, but then you were losing and then you started cheating. Well, where did cheating come from? Like, how did, at some point in time, you learn to cheat at a very high level where no one caught you for a very long time. And then suddenly, this apology makes it look like the only cheating Fabio did is mana weaving, which is absurd. This guy cheated his ass off and now he got caught. So he admitted to the one thing he got caught. It would be like, Someone stealing from Target and then stealing from Walmart and then stealing from Walgreens and then stealing from CVS. And then they got caught at a local store. The guy just didn't steal from that local store, guys. He stole from everywhere. That's just the nature of the beast. Wasn't there one he was literally bragging about at the event? Something like about putting a creature into play on tap when he knew it was tapped or something? True, he called Blanton cheating a cool play. <laughs> Do you think this guy is regretful? Do you think he has one iota of shame? No, he doesn't. And the only way you can punish him is by blasting him on social media over and over again until he leaves. So let me repeat that. If you steal something from Target, if you steal something at your local magic store, you will go to jail. If you steal something from a bunch of losers and casual players at a GP or Star City Invitational or any of these professional events, not only do you get to go not go to jail, you get rewarded, you get your payout, and you get to keep the power nine you just want. And it's a cool play, by the way. Oh my gosh, right? Um, oh my gosh, right? No, it is, here we have Ari Locks. He once told Marcelio that his true faith sensor only gave vigilance to humans playing for a GP top eight when a card was in Spanish resulting in a win. A guy who uses Spanish cards. It's like that one douchebag in your EDH group and we all know who he is. And he uses foreign language cards and not, and it's like really weird cards and you ask him what it does. And he makes something up and no one really knows or cares because it's a casual event and it's a casual player. And then he gets away with it. And the only reason he's using foreign cards is because he's trying to do that. He's trying to eke out every advantage. So essentially, this guy has admitted he's targeting casual players. Or targeting players who are not experienced enough to pick up on his cheat. He's using Spanish cards to, for his opponent not to know what the card does. He is saying that um, putting cards that should be in play tapped, untapped, and saying that it was very cool he got away with it. And now he apologizes. And he is a changed man. Yeah. I believe that. I believe people can change. So back to um, real life. Because real life does not exist in magic, apparently. Because people just get away with pl plenty of scams. I mean, real life, if you promoted Puka Trade and later it came out that it was a pyramid scheme, you would go to jail. In real life, if you cheated at a tournament, a poker tournament, the most you can hope for is to go to jail. But they will probably break your legs. Depends on what casino. I mean, you've just stolen money from someone. You don't know who that someone is and you don't know who they are or what they know or you know maybe they're part of the cartels i don't know maybe they play magic um man the moxie on these people to apologize in this way <laughs> and you know i'm gonna make another video on the dan ward and the one dude who kept supporting him because it has to be said 
Guy got caught on camera clearly cheating. The guy on my YouTube comment supported him, saying that he was the best guy ever and he didn't cheat. It was a mistake. Then six months later, the guy, get, guy gets caught again in team play, embarrassing himself and his team members uh, for cheating. And he, at that point, he gets suspended. And yet, he'll still defend him. It's because you're, you're lemming. I mean, isn't that the definition of a lemming? You get beat up and you cheat. I mean, here, you have, you're a lemming. You have your lemming food. A big bad wolf steals your food, smacks you in the face, and you as a lemming say, oh my gosh, it was a mistake. It was a mistake the wolf ate my food. It was a mistake he smacked me in the face. I know I can't go to the event that I really want to go to because I got cheated, but thank you, big bad wolf. Our junior cheeseburger. Mm.